Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we are going to be going over the 45 classes and uh, their special abilities from our new TTRPG that we're building. Last time, uh, we talked about how to level up our traits, and the traits again are the 10 stats that build the character uh, and in character creation you'll be deciding which stats are important for you from a gameplay perspective and then you can choose a class and a people that will each modify uh, two of those traits so we're going through each of the classes today and in the next video we'll go through the different peoples and the abilities that come along with so first up, we have got the Acrobat, and the Acrobat's special ability is that they can travel along any width of a uh, path as long as that path can uh, hold their weight. So they can do the tightrope walking thing as a mechanic. Next up, the Archive Mage. Uh, you get to choose a magic specialty which essentially means that you are able to add a magical keyword or a damage type if you're doing a damaging spell. Uh, a keyword can be healing, a keyword can be uh, all kinds of variety of different things. Uh, but as an archive mage, you get to start with one uh, where the difficulty of learning spells in that keyword are easier for your character to learn. Next up, we've got the artisan. And for the artisan, uh, essentially you are able to craft items uh, and sell them for more gold than what they would normally be worth. Uh, or a clergy, we have got essentially here beneficial magics that are impacting this character, also impact the characters around them. So you have sort of a shared uh, aura, if you will, for the aura clergy. Our Barbarian uh, is next, and the special ability on the Barbarian is a Roaring Insult, and essentially this allows them to uh, lure or draw enemies to themselves and force attacks from enemies to come to the Barbarian instead of uh, another character. Next up we have the Battering Ram, and a character who has the Battering Ram class uh, can push back enemies when they succeed on a hit. Uh, we have a blast mechanic which can take damage in order to uh, create new doors and windows and walls. The bullseye arm uh, can turn thrown items into ranged weapons. Next up the carnival caster can use their influence trait uh, instead of their magic trait when learning uh, new spells. Next up we've got the Charmer and the Charmer they always have a chance when they take damage to cause the enemies to attack one another. We've got the Counterfeiter uh, who essentially has the ability to create documents and copies of documents. The Deep Root uh, is the it has a movable chi ability which essentially means that the person can't be moved or pushed uh, without the underlying ground also being impacted. Next up we have the diplomat and for the diplomat when they enter high difficulty areas um, entering those areas is reduced by one difficulty. So their ability is called welcomed by strangers. Next up, the Duelist class ability is On Guard, and it essentially doubles the change in difficulty when uh, anyone does a no uh, enemy weakness uh, roll. So they take advantage of those weakness at twice the rate of the, their party members. Next up, we have the Idetiker, uh, and this is their class ability is Good with Faces. Uh, essentially they have 
a bonus when it comes to seeing through illusions and uh, invisible creatures and those things are reduced in difficulty. Next up, the Elemental Brawler has an ability called Against the Elements and essentially they choose um, to have resistance on uh, a specific uh, magical keyword. The Endurant Monk class uh, and their ability Open Hand Fluidity gives the character a chance to disarm uh, and at higher levels capture uh, enemy weapons and gear while in battle. We have our Enigmatologist uh, and their ability is called Three Steps Ahead and it essentially allows them to move up in the uh, battle order uh, or if you're in a different system the initiative allows them to go earlier in the, the order there. Next we've got our Escape Artist and essentially they have uh, greater difficulty when it comes to being grappled or held or bound or any of those kinds of things. Next we've got Field Manipulator and their ability Stretchy Space basically means that they can alter the range of a ranged weapon or the range of a spell so that a person has to be standing closer to them in order to make those uh, ranged attacks happen. The Gladiator class has the ability Nets and Claws and essentially they are able to do extra damage against any creature that is larger than they are. Next, the Gorilla Tactician has a preferred environment where the battling is easy for them, easier for them than others. Our Inspirational Speaker class uh, basically creates a zone of bravery where allies within the area are immune to fear. We have our Intimidator class and their ability Crack the Knuckles, uh, which essentially increases their ability to gather information. We have our Item Tinker, and Item Tinker is exactly what it uh, sounds like. Its ability make or break uh, lets you put items or components together and or take them apart um, and do so with more reliability than other characters might be able to. We have got our Knowledge Brute and the ability Use Your Head, which essentially allows them to use their Neuronics anytime they would normally use their Impact trait. So literally, like, using their head as a battering ram. But not a battering ram, because that's a different class. You know what I mean? Library Guardian and the ability Knowledge is Power. Uh, essentially, when they are targeted with a spell, if they are alive and conscious at the end of the battle, they can scribe the spell that uh, hit them most recently. The Linguist class is next, and the ability is Polyglottery. Uh, essentially, they can communicate temporarily with uh, characters that don't share any languages. We have a Micro Contortionist, which uh, their character Eye of the Needle allows them to pass normally at two enemies standing next to each other. You can't go between them, but the Micro Contortionist is able to pass between them. Next we have our Ninja Shadow class, and the ability is Smoke Bomb, which essentially makes it harder for enemies to hit the character and their allies within a range. The Portal Bender is one of the more uh, unique class mechanics. Their ability mirrored communication allows them to turn a mirror into a communications uh, device with other planes of existence. Uh, the tricky part being if there isn't a similarly built mirror in that plane, uh, they'll just get a random reflective surface will be the part that they can see through. Next up, our Priest, and the ability uh, for the Priest is the Bury the Dead, uh, which essentially means that they do extra damage against any creature with the Undead uh, keyword. 
We've got the puzzler, uh, and this class's ability is called Riddle Me This, and essentially they reduce the difficulty for puzzles and riddles and those kinds of in-dungeon activities. We have got the Reflex Wizard, and their ability is Trigger Sparkle, which essentially means if they are hit um, or dealt damage, they can use their action immediately, even if it's not there, not up in the order yet, to cast their spells. Next up, we have one of my favorite uh, classes, which is the Ritual Dancer. Their ability is Flash Mob, which essentially allows all allies within an area to spend their actions doing the Inspire Distract action with the influence level of the Ritual Dancer. So basically elevating everybody into a big group of bards performing uh, the Thriller Dance or something similar. The next class is Room Reader and their ability is First Impressions, which essentially they can take and look at any two uh, other characters and they can tell how those two characters regard one another if they're allies or enemies or neutral. Uh, so pretty, if you're in the right room, can be a pretty powerful class ability. Next class ability is the Rune Fighter, which essentially allows them the imbue weapon ability for magical keywords to be uh, attached to their weapons. Next class ability is the Sacred Scribe, and the ability Deific Dabble allows them to temporarily raise the trait, one trait of an ally, for, uh, in, for one round until the next round. The Scout Ranger class has an ability called Locate Plant, Animal, or Mineral, which does exactly what it says if you're doing the locate uh, or tracking uh, action then that difficulty is reduced for those those kinds of things that you'd be looking for next class ability is the smiting hammer uh, with the ability sky crater and this is probably one of our more metal names for a class ability but essentially pushes people outwards from the uh, character with the smiting hammer class uh, up to uh, 10 squares away which if you're converting into a different system, uh, would be like 50 feet uh, away from the smiting hammer. Next class ability is the Spar Striker, and You Were My Second Choice is the name of their ability. Uh, essentially, if they miss an attack, they can spend all the same rolls and attach that attack or spell to another enemy. Um, the, they can only do it once between rests, but, uh, but definitely lets, uh, the just missed it be applied to a, a lower minion and, and have some success. We have a class specifically called Summoner, which is exactly what it sounds like. It pulls a lower level minion out of the environment so if you're in a dungeon with skeletons it might be a skeleton if you're in a swamp with uh different uh, oversized reptiles it might pull something like that um, but essentially their ability is call a friend and it draws uh, an ally to the battle we have the trap setter and their very eloquently named uh, ability set trap uh, which essentially does exactly what it uh, says it does and basically, every, any character can set a trap, but it reduces the difficulty if you have that class ability. Our second to the last uh, class is the Winged Sandal. And this gives the temporary ability to themselves or an ally of the flight keyword, uh, being able to use their walking speed as their flight speed for, uh, again, just the uh, round, uh, so they get one round of flying during a battle. Last up, we have our class, the Witch Doctor, and their uh, Bugs and Bark is the name of their ability, which essentially is they can take an insect out of the environment, resize it, and use it as a mount to either then attack or 
ride away or move to the next town or escape, however you would use a mount in that scenario. Now this goes in all directions. If you are um, facing some sort of six story tall <laughs> praying mantis, it would resize that bug down to being mount sized uh, as well. So that is the Witch Doctor and that is all of our classes and their special abilities. I know this is a little bit longer of a video and the next one with the peoples will probably be even a little bit longer because each of the peoples has two abilities to go over. But hopefully you've enjoyed. Thank you for staying until the end and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks internet.